Welcome back to the channel. We're back here at Sioka Ford of Lawrenceville, here in Lawrenceville, New Jersey, to check out this brand new 2025 Ford Explorer. This is the top ST trim, four-wheel drive, vapor blue, black interior with microfiber suede inserts, the whole nine yards on this top trim for 25 Explorer. So we're going to go through this and you can let me know, is this the performance SUV you would buy? So let's dig in. Front end of this 25 Explorer in the vapor blue with the gloss black grille. Now the, obviously the grille's bigger, got the ST badge looking good in red, full spread of LED, LED lighting all the way around, functional side air curtains as well. We got the fog lamp action down below, flat black on the grille instead of gloss, which I think was a good idea. Front license plate bracket is on right now because this vehicle is being outfit as a manager's demo. And now as we come around to our wheel and tire setup, we're going to go with that optional 21 inch machined aluminum alloy wheel, carbonized gray in the color, Ford badge on the center cap. Now these wheels are wrapped in Pirelli Scorpion Zero all season tires, 275 on the width, a 45 series sidewall, 21s, all four corners, four wheel drive. Moving on out, loving the vapor blue. I think it's a great color. On the, on the Explorer, really on any Ford, I really like it. And then we don't have any chrome at all. It is all blacked out with heavy tint on the back windows to really make it look sleek. I think if they cut off those roof rails up top, it would really look the business. But you let me know. As we move in closer, we're going to go gloss black on our side view mirrors with LED turn signals and 360 degree view cameras, color matched on the front and the rear door handles. The fuel filter door is on the left side of the vehicle. Up top, we're going to go with a roof spoiler coming off the top. Color matched roof, flat black on the roof rails and shark fin antenna with a panoramic sunroof. Rear end of our Explorer, we got the roof spoiler coming off the top. They still have the wiper down below on the glass. We're on the Aviator. It's tucked up. I don't know why they just don't do all the same thing. We do have the new tail light housing, all LED that comes right into the middle with Explorer in black right in the middle as well. Down below, we got that beautiful looking chrome quad tip exhaust look with your tow hitch. And we'll go over those tow numbers when we take a look at the engine. Under the hood of this Explorer, we got Ford's 3-liter EcoBoost V6 engine mated to a 10-speed automatic transmission, 400 horsepower, 415 pound-feet of torque. This Explorer can tow up to 5,600 pounds. MPGs, 18 in the city, 25 on the highway, 20 combined. Before we get into the interior of this Top Trim Explorer for 25, how much are you going to want to know? Well, STs aren't cheap. Base price, 59,200. This vehicle's only got one option. And that's the vapor blue paint for 495. We add in destination and delivery of $1,595 from Ford Chicago Assembly Plant. We have a total vehicle MSRP from the factory of $61,290. So let's check out the interior. Driver door panel on this new Explorer. We're going to go soft touch up top. Then we have the lovely red and black two-tone on the insert, nice and soft. The upgraded 14-speaker B&O sound system in here as well. Three memory seat settings and powerful mirror action. Hit the button, in they come. Hit the button again, out they go. Looking beautiful. Huge door pocket as well. Really nicely done. As we move on in, to the foot box. We have a nice large dead pedal brake and accelerator. This one doesn't have the sport pedals. So I probably would add those. Let me know what you would do. And now as we come back out, we got that Ford Performance door sill plate to welcome you to the vehicle. Right now the blue plastic's on it. They've asked me to leave that on. Full power for the driver and the front passenger with the black and the red stitching. Microfiber suede insert ST right there in the middle of the seat. Looking good. Nice comfortable seats, sharp looking interior. 
front passenger door panel, same action as the driver, except you're not going to have memory seats. As we move into our dash, we're going to go with soft touch up here. Then we're going to have this fabric material, which goes right into the B&O speaker. So they like took the speaker cover material and just extended it along. We do have brushed aluminum that says Explorer right there. And then again, more of the black ActiveX, not leather in here. This is ActiveX, forgot to mention that, with the red cross stitch. And then down below, a huge glove box. Look at the size of that thing. Updated tech here in the 25 Explorer. We got a 13.2 inch low profile SYNC 4 wireless CarPlay Android Auto. And compared to SYNC 3, that is like magic. That pinched the zoom. Looks beautiful. We also have three stage heated seats, three stage ventilated seats, and a heated steering wheel. And you can link the seats and the steering wheel up with the climate system. So I'm loving that. We have dual climate. Right now I have it on refrigerator uh, temperature. So let me get this up a little bit. I'm now I'm starting to freeze myself. So they got that action going for you. Got your home button where you can go and you can put multiple things up on your home screen. You can get, you can just go into your radio from here as well, get your Sirius XM, other HD radio stations going. You can go back to home. It looks good. You can go to your vehicle settings. You can take a look at that. You get your ambient lighting up. Oop, I had to wait for it to come up. There you go. You have your different modes. We got the vapor blue with the red stitching. I think I'll go with red ambient lighting, but they got you covered there. Adjust the brightness. You're all set. Looks beautiful as well. So I like that. We can go in here. Here's all of our apps in here. Nice touch screen. You got Google Assistant, Bluetooth, your phone, Wi-Fi hotspot, 5G, and your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, wireless, YouTube. You can watch Shabby's Rides on YouTube right from your new Explorer. Beautiful. Looks good. Now, we're going to go to reverse. There is our huge backup camera with 360 degree view. Takes up the whole screen, looks beautiful, and you can adjust your different views from up here in the corner. So they got you set there. We'll get back to park and we're back at home. Now, push button start two heat and air vents, your volume button, and then on this panel, we have our engine auto stop start on off, park assist, four-way hazards. This is your uh, cameras on off, traction control off, auto vehicle hold right in here. Boom, wireless charging pad, and another place for your buddy to slide their phone to. Down below, in that little dark hole, if you can see down there, you do have a 12 volt USB C, USB A, and more storage. And you can put that down if you want to cover it up. Flat black on here instead of gloss, smart move. Here's the dial. A lot of people don't like this to go through the 10 speed auto. We have our electric emergency brake, two cup holders, Ford key fob right here. Unlock, lock, remote start, pop the tailgate, panic button, ST on the back looking sharp. Down further, drive modes, which we'll go through when we check out the dash. And then we have a nice wide armrest in the ActiveX with the red cross stitch. Open that up and we have two more USB-Cs and a nice large area for storage. ST steering wheel, nice leather wrap wheel, nice 10 and 2 notches, red cross stitch, looks beautiful, Ford blue oval on the horn button, ST down here, flat bottom wheel to give you that sportier vibe, plus let you in and out of the vehicle easier, but this is a huge cockpit, no problem getting in or out. Flat black on the switch gear, on the left you're going to have your adaptive cruise volume, on the right you're going to have your telephone voice commands controls for the digital dash. We do have paddles to go up and down this 10 speed auto manually if you would like to do that and we're going to rock that way today on the left adaptive high beams and, and uh, turn signals and then on the right side you're going to have your front and rear windshield wipers left side of the steering wheel we can pop the tailgate we can adjust our headlights turn our fog lamps on off brighten dim the dash and we do have an automatic or electric tilting and telescoping wheel here is the digital dash. Now this big thing in the middle, that's your driver, drowsy driver detection camera. So here we go. We have our drive mode action. What do we got? We got sport, tow haul, and now the dial back the other way, eco, normal, slippery, trail, and that's it and back this way but we're rocking out in sport mode today and now 
We do have additional information you can put up here in the center of the screen as well, depending on what you want to see as you're going down the road. Overhead console, we got a spot for your shades right there. Now, you want your LED dome lighting to come on and off to open and close the door. This button right here remains off, so when you open the door, lighting comes on, close the door, lighting will dim out. We're not going to open our panoramic roof because it's started to rain and I don't want to get wet, but we do have a panoramic roof in here and the controls are right here, right side for the shade, left side for the glass, framed rear view mirror right here, auto dimming function. Now, our sun visor, three garage door programmables are right here. You bring it down, you have vanity with light and does it slide? Yes, it does. Rear door panel, same action as the front, no change in materials or design. We do have security shades back here as well. Nicely done. Now we're gonna hop in the mid row. So here we go. We get right in, nice flat roof, easy to get into. Close the door, five foot 11, plenty of room for my head, shoulders, and knees. ActiveX all the way down, seat pocket behind the driver and the front passenger. Center console, command center action. We got rear heat and air, two stage heated seats for both captain's chairs, two USB C's, and a home power source, and two cup holders. So they got you set there. Captain's chairs, the black ActiveX with the microfiber suede insert and the red stitching. Looks good, they're really comfortable. And look at the size of this armrest. Lumberjack armrest, Ford does the armrests right here in their SUVs for sure, but it is a very nice, comfortable place to be here in this mid-row. All right, getting into the third row of the Explorer, well, you gotta move the mid-row out of the way. So on top of the seat back right here, there's a button, you just lift it up, and you push the seat forward. And now you can step on in, and once you're in, I'll slide on over behind the other mid-row seat, and actually, at 5 foot 11, I got enough room for my head, shoulders, enough room for my knees. I got heat and air up above my head with some lighting. And next to me, I got a cup holder and I got two USB C's right over here. Unfortunately, my buddy on the other side doesn't have a USB C. So he's got to put his cord across my lap to plug in. I would have rather seen one on either side, but at least Ford put some back here because they didn't have them back here before. But I could, as a full-size adult, I could ride back here for a while, so I think they did a nice job. Getting in the tailgate of this new Explorer, you can pop from the key fob, pop from the dash, or you come to the back. And right over here, underneath the R and Explorer, there's a button, you hit it, beeps a couple of times, nice electric assist on the way up, nice electric assist on the way down using this button. Now, with your third row up, we're looking at 16.3 cubic feet of cargo space in the back of this Explorer. As we move in closer, here are the carpeted floor mats, but it would have been nice to have like ST on here or something. Underneath here, you have more room and then underneath this floor you do have a spare so thank you Ford for the spare on the right side here we have a 12 volt and we can power drop our third row from here with some lighting you hit them you can do either do one or the other or you can hit the middle button the headrests go down and down it goes now with the third row down you're looking at 46 cubic feet of cargo space in the back of this Explorer ST. However, Ford, even with this redesign, didn't put drop levers for the mid row in the 25 Explorer. So you gotta go around to each door and let the mid row down on your own. I would have liked to seen them fix this issue. And now, with those mid-road captain's chairs done in this big boxy shape, we're looking at 85.8 cubic feet of cargo space in the back of this 25 Explorer ST. Window sticker time, 25 Explorer ST 4x4 Vapor Blue with the ActiveX Ebony, or Onyx, excuse me. Up top, we got our standard features along the top. And now we come over to our options down below. As you can see, the only option right here is the Vapor Blue for $4.95. Then we hit the pricing. And then down below, total MSRP. 
right there, 61,290 made at the Chicago assembly plant. We have our fuel economy estimates as the rain starts to come down on top of us. And then underneath that, you got your safety ratings, all-time best-selling SUV in the United States. Let's take this baby out for a spin. All right, we're on the road in this 25 Explorer ST full-blown Ford Performance Explorer. So, Ford Performance has sprinkled their magic on the Ford Explorer and out pops an ST. Now, suspension-wise, in case you're wondering, we're looking at McPherson front strut, multi-link in the rear gas shocks, of course, and we got 7.8 inches of ground clearance on the Explorer ST. So that's not bad for a street performance focused uh, midsize SUV. We got all the latest technology. The big upgrade obviously is taking the Explorer off of Sync 3, putting it on Sync 4. Should have done it before now, but finally they did. Wireless CarPlay, Android Auto, That's the sound of impatient New Jersey drivers causing havoc on the roadways. But anyway, wireless CarPlay, Android Auto, heated ventilated seats, heated steering wheel, wireless charging pad. Remember the ST line video we did a couple of weeks ago? The ST line performance was much better. So let's check this out. down the road we go and the Mustang behind us is wondering what the hell just happened <laughs> Woo! so this has got some juice now Ford did some tuning on the engine and the 10 speed auto to make it more responsive than the outgoing Explorer and certainly it is clicking into place beautifully and the handling it is tight, it is right, it is right on the money. So uh, they've done a nice job with this aftermarket tune that they put on this ST. And uh, it really is responding beautifully under load. No doubt about that. Now they haven't published a turning radius on this one yet. It's still a bit new. So we're going to try it out as we pop down here. And we'll give it an eyeball see how it is here we go and we're looking at about 19 maybe a little less maybe 18 and a half it is tight it is tight so now we're gonna stop we're gonna go to manual and all you have to do there is push the M button on the dial to get to manual and then you can hit the Paddle. So here we go. Let's check it out. Beautiful upshifts. Now let's check out our downshifts. Beautiful downshifts. And we can see that dump truck ahead of us. So I'm just going to stop here for a minute and give him more of a lead. And then we'll take off again. Three, two, one. One. And just picks up and goes beautifully. So they did a nice job getting this tuned in. The other day we saw that Navigator video, if you remember. And it was shifting a little slower with the 24, excuse me, Aviator. And so they have tightened these up on the paddles for sure. Here we go. Into the bend. And just beautifully done by Ford on this tune. Really feels good. And, and you know what? We're almost in the same ballpark, or we are in the same ballpark as Price. Uh, as we were on the outgoing uh, 24 Explorer ST, low 60s. And that's where this one is. And frankly, I love how this is spec'd out because I wouldn't want too many options in this. 
is already expensive enough at its base price, so I pay extra for the Vapor Blue paint and I'm done. I don't need all the other fancy options you can get on this thing to run the price to 65 or 66 or 67 even. Don't need them. And it, this is just fine for me. And it's 61 for this kind of performance. I think that's a deal. Would you let me know what you think? Is the Ford Explorer ST, is this the action you would go for? Is this the way you would spend your money on that performance SUV? Or are you going to go somewhere else with that hard-earned money of yours? Let me know. Put it in the comments. But I do want to thank Sioka Ford of Lawrenceville for allowing the channel access to their very first 2025 Ford Explorer ST in Vapor Blue. For a review today, I'd like to thank all of you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. Please also consider subscribing and turn on that notification bell so you never miss another Shabby's Rides video. And I'll see all of you on the rebound. Take care, everyone.